वेलकम टू अवर टेक्निकल चैनल गणेश पाइपिंग दिस इज योर चैनल सो प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी एपिसोड ऑन प्रोड्यूस्ड वाटर दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ आवर सीरीज ऑन ऑफ शोर ऑयल एंड गैस सेक्टर सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट माई एपिसोड i would like to urge you that uh, we have also taken this training program on offshore uh, sector uh, through an online platform so the cost of that training program is almost 1/10 of the cost of our program which is uh, offline and also online video conferencing so if you want to subscribe for that training you can click on the link which is provided in the description of this video uh, thank you and uh, let's begin with the today's episode for the produced water uh, basically if you are into offshore industry then you must have come across this term produced water so let us understand what this produced water is uh, when we extract the hydrocarbon uh, i have shown here and i will try to explain this uh, by means of this diagram so uh, this is the reservoir rock we can see this is the cap rock and beneath the rock uh, we can see that gas oil which is the crude oil and water they are being trapped inside this rock we can see this is the cavity which is there so uh, when this is the production well we can see here from here the oil is getting uh, oil is coming out it is extracted so whenever we get the extract with the, the 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 well fluid it is this is called as well fluid the fluid that is coming out from the well directly so that well fluid is not pure crude oil but it is a mixture of uh, different uh, liquids like for example uh, it is a multi phased fluid for example it is having gas dissolved gas then uh, liquid which is hydrocarbon crude oil along with the uh, water because uh, when uh, this uh, reservoir rocks uh, if it is buried inside the uh, seabed then it it has lot of water in that uh, in case of onshore reservoirs also uh, the chances of uh, water uh, along with this crude oil are uh, there so you get an immiscible mixture of uh, crude oil water gas which is a dissolved gas and of course sand so solid is also there so this uh, fluid, fluid is called as well stream so here you can see that the well stream is coming from the well directly and then it is sent to the three uh, three phase separator so three phase is the solid liquid gas so uh, solid means the uh sand which is separated and the gas natural gas we can see here natural gas we can see here crude oil is also separated and the water is also separated so this water which comes out from the production pipe because this is called as the production pipe why it is called production pipe because the production that is the well fluid is coming from that so this water is called as produced water so now this produced water is uh, different from the our ordinary water because it is having uh, dissolved amounts of hydrocarbon and so many other impurities of course uh, in due course of time we have filtration systems uh, separators where you are separating where we are separating this uh, Uh, hydrocarbons from this produced water even after that some amount of uh, hydrocarbons are always uh, uh, always available present in in the produced water 
so this produce water we cannot directly dump into sea or we cannot directly discharge into environment uh, because there are uh, so many ill effects on the environment so what are that we are going to see further so <clears throat> this is the introduction of the produced water so now uh, what this produce water what we do with this produce water uh, basically uh, in uh, offshore this produce water is stored in uh, certain cells uh, which are uh, dedicated which are the storage uh, storage cells for hydrocarbon and uh, some of them are used for storing the produce water also why this produce water is stored that we are going to see in the next slide so here i will give you a hint uh, this is a injection well so what is the injection well i will give you an idea uh, like for example when the production of uh, this well is started uh, the oil the oil and the pro uh, the produce fluid everything will come by its natural pressure so when you start extracting the hydrocarbons <clears throat> when you start extracting the uh, well fluid from that uh, gradually the pressure of that well will deplete Uh, it is but natural that you are taking a, you are extracting the hydrocarbon so the pressure is going to deplete so when the pressure is going to deplete uh, the well fluid uh, the production will be reduced because of that so in order to build up the pressure in this uh, in this reservoir you pump some liquid inside the inside the reservoir and for that there is an injection well which is drilled so this uh, medium which is injected into the well is basically the produced water so that we are going to see so the produced water will build up the pressure and because of that pressure again the production will start so this is how this is how the uh, application of produced water we can see here uh, this is the um, oil well we can see here this is the oil well so in the separator we have seen that the separation unit is there here the oil is separated and uh, this is the produce water so this water is stored uh, in separate uh, like in case of uh, gravity based structures uh, there are cells uh, inside that where we store the hydrocarbon so you, those cells are also used for uh, storage of this uh, produce water so this produce water <clears throat> this produce water is injected into the injection wells uh, in the earlier slide we can see here these are the booster pumps uh, which creates that positive pressure for uh, water injection so this water injection is again that same water is sent into the reservoir so because of the injected water the pressure builds up and the again the uh, production starts but as we uh, go on injecting the water uh, the quality of that well fluid will uh, goes on decreasing because the quantity of hydrocarbon uh, will became dilute as we go on injecting the water so now we are going to see the produce water environmental concerns like uh, we have seen this is the produce water so you can see a film of oil or the hydrocarbon that is being formed on the water surface here also we can see these are the ponds artificially created ponds and here also again uh, we have to undergo certain uh, treatment for this produce water so after that the water can be discharged uh, into the environment maybe into the sea uh, there are certain norms so if the this is not done properly uh, then it has a very devastating effect on the environment like if it is dumped into sea directly Uh, the marine life the fish and uh, other living beings and the plants uh, uh, that will be destroyed 
the marine marine life will be destroyed completely because of this because it has uh, this produce water has lot of organic as well as inorganic uh, compounds chemicals which are uh, highly uh, dangerous for the environment marine environment uh, and even if it is uh, dumped uh, on land then it can it can make the land uh, infertile so uh, and also there are there may be so many other uh, issues with that like for example if you dump it on the land it will percolate into the ground and it will affect the ground water also so because of this uh, the environmental concerns for the produce water uh, it has to be treated with certain norms uh, this uh, video is all about um, all about the produce water and uh, if you have any questions on this uh, you are always welcome uh, you can email us and if you want to undergo a complete training program on offshore then please click on the link provided in the description and you can enroll for the training at a very very marginal cost so uh, thank you once again for watching this video and without fail subscribe to our channel and share this a uh, uh, channel with your friends and colleagues so that they can also take the advantage of this free training on offshore thank you and have a fantastic day